Did you know that your user submission data can be instantly sent to Airtable for you? Well, let me show you how with JotForms integration with Airtable. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in my Airtable account on the desktop. Now, today we're going to be creating a form for an event that we are going to have. So you can see I already have a base set up and it is called event registration. So let's go ahead and choose event registration. And in my very first table, we have called it attendee info. Now we have their name, which is a single line of text. We have their email, which is the email field, and then we have the address, which is going to be long text. Now, I have someone who is working just this specific table because they're going to be taking in every single person who fills out my form to get them ready for the event. Now, I have someone else on my team who is going to be manning the actual event. So that next tab right here where it says event information, their name is also going to be coming over into this table, but we're going to be asking, are you attending in person or are you attending virtual? And all three of these you're gonna see are going to be single select. Next is going to be what is most important to you, single select and then what is their sandwich type, single select. So let's go ahead and jump over to JotForm and let's make a form to fit our tables over an Airtable. We're gonna to choose to create a brand new form. We're gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left-hand side, we're gonna go ahead and choose our form elements. We need their name and we need their email and their address. Now we need those three single choice questions. We're gonna add those in. So now let's go ahead and make these fit what is in our Airtable. So this first one was, are you attending in person? And so let's have yes, then no, and then we are doing virtual. Virtual, perfect, and then we'll X out of that one. Then our next question was, what is most important to you? The last thing I wanna do in this event is be talking about things that people are not interested in. So I wanna make sure to give them options so we know what the majority wants to hear about. And then we'll do personal development, sales, onboarding, and coaching. And then if we're sandwich type, if they are attending in person, we will do turkey, ham, no thanks, or I'm virtual. Perfect. So now that we have our questions set up exactly as they are in Airtable, let's go ahead and get the integration going. So in the top middle, we're gonna choose settings, then integrations, then we'll do a quick search for Airtable, perfect. Now, if this is your first time syncing up your Airtable account with JotForm, it's gonna ask you to sign in. As we can see, I'm already signed in, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add an action. And the first one is going to be to choose a base. We're gonna choose our event registration base. We're gonna do our attendee information. And now it really is as simple as mapping out our fields. We'll do email to email and our address to address. Perfect, we'll do save. So now we have that very first one ready to go. All of that data is going to be sent to that table number one. Now let's add a new action and we're gonna do similar. I'm gonna add an action. I'm gonna choose that same base registration. And now we're going to map the event information. So we're going to do the name. Then are you going to be attending in person? What is most important to you? And which sandwich type do you prefer? We'll do save, perfect. So let's go ahead and preview our form. We'll do fill form and We'll do a quick scroll, perfect, great. So let's go ahead and submit and let's jump over to our air table. We'll do a quick refresh and here is John Smith, perfect. So we have his event information. He is attending in person. He wants personal development to be the main focus. That's what's most important to him. And he wants a turkey sandwich. And then if we jump over here to our attendee information, we have his name, email, and address. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm with your Airtable account, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.